an interest in some in architecture and you feel very strongly about it, I actually would encourage you to check out. A little bit of interest and you think that you want to pursue it, no harm giving a try. Yeah, because actually in Malaysia, we don't have enough architects. Uh, because uh, you know, I joined our Putubuhan Architect Malaysia's uh, meetings often. So our numbers is just a thousand plus uh, those architects with part three. Of course, part three are those who can sign. Okay, this is so small, and we compare ourselves to Australia with the kind of population that we have, maybe almost the same with Australia, but Australia has got many more architects than us. So there is a lot of opportunities available. So I would encourage you to try out architecture. It's actually very fulfilling. Over the years, I've been invited to go to many universities uh, to be uh, the external examiner. So I've been to UIA, to uh, UCSI, and also here. So I've been here, I think, uh, twice, if not three times, uh, to actually um, uh, be part of the external examiners uh, during the design quick session, we call it quick session. Eh? So um, I was quite impressed actually with Alpha uh, after I've been to these other um, universities. So I was impressed with the uh, design, the creativity of the students, and also uh, what I was most impressed is the number of students to lectures ratio. So I thought that it would be good for my son to have that kind of one-on-one. -on -one. Attitude means um, you need to be able to work together because architecture is about group uh, work. Yeah. I think uh, in Alpha, you have encouraged that. In my university last time, that's how we did when we did our final year. We are required to work in a group, at least of three people. Because in the real world, you'll be working with people, not alone. So there are some people with this ego problem, and they just feel that uh, I want it my way, and they're not going to listen to others. Okay, this is not something that we want because you need to be able to talk and discuss with one another because when you go out in the real world, you are not working alone. You are working with a team of people. Okay, uh, like I said, attitude means you have good uh, interpersonal uh, personality where you can uh, you know, talk in a diplomatic manner, you know, because uh, there are some people, especially young, uh, you know, people, especially they feel that, oh, I'm so good, I'm not going to listen to another person. Uh, I can tell you, I'm more than a century, half a century now. I'm still learning. Okay, there's no time, that you, uh, there's no way for you to say that you have got everything. Yeah, you have learned everything because even for me, with all the new technologies, new ways of doing business, new ways of doing buildings, right? Now we talk about sustainable, we talk about IBS. During my days, we don't talk about that. Okay? So we have to go uh, forward and we have to learn every day of our life.